unto. I've seen people who have said, I have done this, I have nobody has acknowledged me. So me, I won't do it again. I've heard people say that. The church I started from where I got born again. Oh, I remember my whole Sunday, whole instrumentalists. They, they decided to gank up against God. They thought they were doing the church. They gank up against God. Because they require the church to appreciate them. And because, because they have put their petition, the pastor hasn't said anything. They decided that this Sunday, we won't play. When you are not appreciated, what will you do for the things that you do? Will you continue? The woman did not stop. If he, Jesus said, whilst I am still speaking to you, she has not stopped kissing my feet and wiping my feet with her tears. No matter what they were saying and the things that Jesus was telling them over there did not distract her. She kept focus. That is my place. That is where God wants me to operate. So I will operate there. I will stand there whether appreciated or not. And you know what God will do? God raised people that day to play the drums. God raised people that day to play the drums. I was amazed. I spoke to them. Say you, how long have you been here? You don't know how we have suffered. Eh? We have been doing this. Ah, nobody, not even a single day for somebody to stand here and tell us that oh, the things you are. So we we'll play again. And indeed, indeed, they did not play. But the Lord never ran out of resources. Let us remember our labor of love unto our king. It is unto him we minister. Ready? It is unto him we minister. Sometimes it might come with pain. It might come that, oh, you are not being seen. The things that even you are doing, nobody sees you. But it's, on, it's not unto man. It's not unto man. That is unto him. You might think that I'm taking this position and all this while I have not seen God come through for me. It's not unto any person. It's unto God. He will surely come through. He will surely show up. I know that sacrificing, standing in that place when you feel you are alone, is a difficult thing. It's not something that you should play with. When you know you are giving all your best, and people will turn back and look down upon the things that you have done. It is very painful. The woman did not stop whilst Jesus was still addressing the issue. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Whilst your accuser stand, or your accuser will stand by you during the time of worship and begin to show you pictures and things and all those things, do not give him room. Remember what I said that day. He wanted Jesus to offer him worship. He did not get it. You think he will have you, he will let you have your free mind to bring unto God an acceptable worship or a sacrifice. No, he will stand, he won't just be there. He will try and, and engage your man. But this woman stood there. Humble. It is very humble. For her to go down with her hair, with her hair, to wipe the feet of Jesus as a love unto him, as a sign of appreciation. Jesus gave the man an answer that she's done that because she feels he deserves it. We think if he doesn't deserve it, he will, she will do it. She won't do it. She knows that Jesus deserves it. That is why in Revelation she said, it is me is the only one that is worthy of every single thing that we can think of to bring unto him. He alone, he alone, he is the only one who is worthy. Not any man. No man should then take your attention as to how you do it. 
is unto him. The focus is on for him. I will do it because he has delivered me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Me that could have become an armed robber. Now I stand here before wonderful sons and daughters of God sharing the word of God with them. You don't know how far some of us have come. You don't know how far some of us have come. I could have been there. Very stubborn and notorious, to be frank with you. I, I remember one day at the bar, somebody put a pistol on me. I told him, you can't kill me. Just try it and see. I wasn't by then 12. And he had no option but to put back the pistol and run after me. But today, the law taking such a person who was set on the path of destruction and brought me into his kingdom. His marvelous kingdom, full of his goodness. Full of his goodness. Full of his goodness. Full of his kindness. His grace on daily basis he showers on me. There is not a single day, the sins we just finished, there is not a single day he looked at me as a sinner. But he looks at me as his very righteousness. How will I walk in here and expecting that he should still minister anything to me? I have come to minister, not to be ministered to. I have come to give unto him, not to be given to. But once I take that position and I offer unto him a true worship, he sees to my knees. He sees to my knees. He comes through strongly for me. Brother, it is time. And now is the time. Whilst we come here in your closet, know that it is for him. Know that it is for him. Let no man, no woman is worth to take your attention from the master. They don't deserve it. Let them call you an archaic person. I will still stand in that place and lift my hands unto him because it is he that has brought me this far. Shall we bow down our heads in prayer? The woman uttered in faith. She did not look at her surrounding. David acted in faith. He did not look at his surrounding. But most of the times, our focus is that I want, I, do, I want a testimony from God over what men will say about me. What men will say about me. What men will say about me. Did I do it right? But the Lord this day, is still calling unto us into a place of consecration, a place of love. He said, remember the height from which you are falling. Go back to your first love. Go back to your first love. The love that it was me alone and nothing else. Me alone, me alone. In your closet, you could lock yourself up there and spend hours and time you will not feel that oh, this is a time that we wasting before the Lord. But you think it is a time worth to spend before the Lord. And you are just close out there waiting to receive of Him. And to be used of Him. That place that you stood on daily basis that Father I am just a vessel in your hands. To be used to fulfill your pleasure. Your pleasure. The Lord said that I have found David. You want to say that Father that you will find me. You will find me in this congregation. You will find me in this congregation. A man after your own heart. A man after your own heart. That was the testimony of God regarding David. He's a man after my heart. You think such a man, when Saul was pursuing him from camp to camp, you think God will spare Saul to destroy him? No. 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 God will not do that because he's a man after his own heart. A man after his own heart. 
When Absalom chased him from his, his palace, the Lord restored him to that place because he's a man after his own heart. He said, through your lineage, the Savior will come out of He will come out of that place. Can you ask him, Father, I ask you to help me, bring me back to that place. The ancient mark, the ancient mark, that place that he ordained you to be. Brethren, it is not easy, but his strength is made perfect in us. In our weakness, his strength is made perfect. In us, people, he's looking out for people. We will bring unto him that which is due him. People to be vessels. They were just gathered there, teachers and prophets, without putting title upon themselves. We are just here. Whoever that the Lord uses, we are not mindful about all that we are mindful about. God, what this day, what do you want to say? What do you want to do? That is all that we are mindful. We could be ten teachers. We are not ready to fight among ourselves. When it is time for one to operate, we all yield our support unto that person. We stand in that place and we support that person. It is your word and word alone that we look at unto. Brother, otherwise that day you will appear and you have nothing to show. That is the truth. It could be like you just came in, came out just like that and nothing out, nothing to show. But as many, as many that yielded unto him in army, as many that brought their part, the Lord army, as many that took their place at public servant that I am only here to serve the Lord, to minister unto him. The Lord will bring me to that place. The Lord will bring me to that place. Generation down the line, the Lord still was focusing. And in the New Testament, the Lord is still talking about David. He's still talking about David, a man after my own heart. It is not competition. But you must decide this day that I want to be that man after God's own heart. Men might say whatever they want to say about you. But I want to be that man after God's own heart in this generation. And Bible said, David served his generation until we die. He said not to be saved. He said he was ready to be used of the Lord. He went to battle. He put himself in that place. It wasn't that king who would go and hide and see how the battle would go. He stepped out there. song very soon we'll be living here let him be your focus this few minutes
want you to pray. See, the devil will put the impossibilities before you. That you can't do it. That you can't stand through. You have tried it before and you have failed. You see the disappointment you went through. But it's a lie. It is not of God. It is not of God. You can give him your all and he will still honor you. He does not go back to his word. You can give up that thing that is running on you on. That has become something and a character in you. You can let go of it and say, Father, this day as we are singing, use me as what you purpose. What you have ordained me to do, use me. Use me. It says, set me apart Barnabas and Saul for the work I have called them. There is a calling upon each of each one of us our lives. Some might be difficult. Some might be painful. But when you look at that calling, what the Lord did through Paul and, and Barnabas life, it is awesome. To the point that your shadows who heal the sick. People that were oppressed. They say the people that came the world upside down, they have come here again. It is not too late. It is not too late. Just say something unto your father this morning. Say something unto him. Say something unto him. Say set them apart for me. We are people set apart. Indeed, we are a people set apart for the use of God. For the use of God. Jesus will say of the woman that this woman came just to anoint me on the day for the day of my burial. She didn't, she didn't just come to do anything, but she was fulfilling scripture. She was fulfilling scripture. She was doing God and honor. The people over there said she was sin and she was not qualified. But in the face of the Lord, the Lord had qualified her to carry out that mission. The Lord this day has qualified us in various forms to be prophets, teachers, apostles, evangelists, and to do His very will. To do His very will. To do His very will. Father, this morning, we are so grateful to you. We are thankful to you, Lord. We are thankful to you, Lord. We are thankful to you, Lord. We share this morning to you, O oh God. It's a place of love you are calling us to. A place where we will not look back and think of who is thinking about us or who is looking at us. But the place that we give unto you are all. And we ask, oh God, this morning for your help. Spirit divine. Who was with them in the, in the church of Antioch? We know you are with us this morning. You are with us this morning. Each one of us, oh God, we have received strength of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To stand in the place that you have called us to bring worship. The men that are waiting on you, O oh God, to carry out your mandate and to do your will. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. The Father will stand in that place of sacrifice. Of worship, of worship. He said, We are a living sacrifice. We will live, O God, unto you and bring unto you. Look for opportunity to serve. Look for opportunity to worship. Look for opportunity to bring praise to you. Look for opportunity on our lives, in our families, in our homes, to bring honor and glory unto you, Lord. You can find such people in this ministry as you found David, a man after your heart. You have found us, leave 
church in Grace Life Chapel. We will stand in our place and fulfill and do all your will. Thank you for this morning. In the name that is above all names, the name Jesus. Amen. Take our offerings.